feeling? Gloat or something. Hmm? You come back to gloat or something. I sure you tell me. <laughs> I think either of us want you to be in right now. Oh, you want to help me now? Is that it then? <laughs> I don't know if helps the word. How are you feeling? How are the, the, the wounds? What do you think? I've been shot with an arrow. I've been shot with a shotgun. I've been shot with so many fucking things and I got macheted. Not only that, I'm left in a goddamn damn fucking cave tied up to a fucking wall bound by my back. I ain't enjoying it. I ain't having a good time. I didn't take your food. It's gonna help you now. I'm not taking your food. To keep my damn sanity intact. Is this what Look at what sense? happened to you. Look at what happened to you. <clears throat> what happened to me? <laughs> when you okay, when you when you're dealing with somebody like Lou. You have to out Mac mad. You have to out mad the mad. Really? Are you telling me to out mad the mad? How you about you out mad the mad by cutting me free and let me walk? That's crazy, wouldn't it be? Outmatting the mad. <laughs> it's not though. What's mad? You know what's mad? That you actually think you're doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah, that's mad. <laughs> that's mad. Sometimes you have to shirk the right thing in order to get somewhere. Oh, great! Where are we going? Another cave! No. Gosh, I love them! I want this all to end as much as you do. I did everything I could when I was in office, even out of office. But I can't so, do it. Why? Hmm. And what do you want to stop? <laughs> what do you want to stop? Him, who the hell is him? Oh. You want to stop Lou by joining him? Not by joining him. Oh, I could have stopped him for yesterday and put a bullet in his brain! Oh, you had the opportunity. Look what happened. <laughs> yeah. I know there's no getting out of this. Every decision I made was the wrong decision. And there's no turning back on that. I don't see your logic the same way you do. No. But I was in your position once. Maybe you'll start to see my logic. You know, I love my brother. I really do. I love him. He's, um... <laughs> fucked. <laughs> very, very fucked. I thought, uh, you know, if I could... Uh, be in charge... Then I could stop him from doing this to somebody else. And it worked! <laughs> it worked for quite a while, actually. Lou's not your brother. He 
Maria's in the way. He spilled my blood, then spilled his own blood, and so in a weird, twisted sense, uh, we now share blood. You know, hippie? It's real good for you. You know, I've spilled plenty of people's blood too, and they spilled my blood, and now we're all brothers, aren't we? We're all a happy fucking family. You're deranged. Ugh. Did you dream anything last night? No concern to you what I dream of. Maybe not. The only way out of this sooner is to out mad the cat and wait. You want freedom. I want you to be free. I don't want you here any more than you want to be here. And I would I would love to set you free, but death comes at too high of a cost. You I can assure convinced. you if I walk away from here, I'm gonna make sure to tell them that you should hang. <laughs> if this is just your way to torment me until you kill me, I'm not playing into your fucking game. Yeah, you may not, but he does. He's fucked up and he's fucked you off with him. Mm. He doesn't want to kill you either. No, what does he want then, right? Me to eat his special meat? Drink his weird juice? I'm not fucking doing it. You're not getting me there. He just wants to be understood. You know, I understand. I understand crazy just fine. Fine enough to know when to shoot it in the face. So why didn't you? Because I shot him somewhere else and I missed his face. He's hard to kill, you know. I tried. I tried shooting him before. Then I tried, uh... I tried playing into his little... his little thing. I took a knife and I... I, I dug into his skin. And he just won't die. Oh, so he must be protected by some god, right? Some, Alice some crazed individual. Hmm? How do I explain it? You fucking failed. Maybe. Or maybe things lined up the way that they were supposed to be. And how would you call that? Mm. What? Fate? You think this is fate? I do. I mean, what else drove you to the swamps right in front of us? I'll be my stupidity, not your fucking fate. <laughs> it could be a mix of both things, couldn't it? I don't believe in both of those things. I only believe in one. And what's that? At the moment? And you're not gonna get away with this. And then I'm getting out of here. You know, Morty. <laughs> I hope you're right. <laughs> Is there somebody you want me to contact for you? Just to let them know you're still alive. Good. 
do you live for, Morty? Olive Archer. Yeah, Olive Archer. She's like a mother to me. to worry and I'll be back home soon. I should have tried to stick close to home, but I didn't. I really don't like caves. Me neither. Yeah. Look, oh. can, you, can, can you just tell her I'll be home soon? No. Wasn't touched by Lou or me. Other than no. my bag. I don't want it. Did you become a marshal? Felt <laughs> like the right thing to do. Is the right thing to do. <laughs> Yet the office remains corrupt as ever, doesn't it? No, <laughs> oh, it doesn't. But you can join the fucking line. Because everybody says that. Yeah. It's sad, isn't it? You know, nowadays we organize a Congo line on every Sunday for criminals who'd go around screaming everybody's corrupt. I don't think you'd be interested. The price is just letting me go. <laughs> I'll invite you. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> you 
You said you didn't want to go back again. What happened the first time you were brought to a cave? The <laughs> first time I was brought to a cave? Oh yeah, I'll tell you about my trauma. That's nice. That's a nice comfort story. <laughs> yeah, why not? I was kidding. Were you branded? Or did he just tell you stories? I told you I'm not telling you. Was it because they wanted something from the department? To free somebody? Was it a hostage situation? Everybody always wants something from the departments. It's just I'm not in just the sheriff's office anymore. You seem to keep thinking I am. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Marty. I don't know what Lou wants with you. Play a sick games? Is it that difficult? Same stupid games I'm sure he played with you. No. If that was it, he would have. He would have given you the Ica. What? The Ica. This would. Initially, it opens your eyes to, to the things that plague him, you know? What is the yicker? It's, um... It's some sort of, uh... Concoction. His ancestors came up with it. Swamp people. I think the, uh, the darndest things, you know? You start to, uh, you start to hear what he's hearing, see what he's seeing. The only difference is, is he sees it constantly. He needs the Ica to calm it down. I don't know what point he's trying to, what point he's trying to prove. All of this. He never died me up in that before. He's told me about it before, though. I didn't know he still had the jacket. Do you want a blanket? Yeah, half one.
find a better place for you. I'll get you out of here. I just need to... I just need to figure out what the fuck is going on. What is going on where? And what? What Lou wants from me? Is it... I don't understand what he wants from me? Is it that, like, not obvious? What does he want? In your mind. <laughs> My mind? A victim? The usual? Somebody to break to fill his own ego? Somebody to... Bay him or something. Show just how powerful he is. It's what they all want. But he's not powerful. No. He's a weak motherfucker. Sad guy just looking to fill his ego with the suffering of others like he did with you. And now I'm having to go through it. Stupid. 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 It's so fucking stupid. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm not eating anything. You don't have to eat anything, but you need someone with at least a little bit of strength, because right now you have none. How exactly are you gonna help me? Why, you want me to just get up, pack my gun, and we'll shoot them together? Is that what you want? No, you want me to face some kind of god and drink his concoction? Do you even want? That's a good question. I always thought that I wanted to be free, but I realized. Freedom doesn't exist. I gave you your names, huh? I gave your cat him names. There's no reason to keep me tied up here. I know. So why am I? Why am I here? It's very interesting how all this came to be. 
I had a, um, I had control before yesterday. I had his precious book. I had carved into him, left him to die, and he survived because his god decided he should survive. <laughs> and then yesterday, before running into you, he asked me for that book back. Why would he ask me for that book back? I instantly thought he wanted to replace me. To abandon me. More than likely. He did everything I did. To try to change him. Maybe that's why I'm here. Maybe I'm your replacement. Maybe. Why do you even go around with this guy? Because if I don't, then he'll kill. Just kill him instead. The law can go after him. We got bounty hunters. I tried. You tried alone. <laughs> I had friends. Anytime I tried to go with my friends, though, they either got hurt. He... He knows... He knows the terrain too well, Morty. He knows where to hide, how to get away. So I fell into it, and I carved it to his skin. Practically wrote the whole book along his back. All that got me was fired and sent to Sissica for far too long. Because what you're saying is crazy. You carved into a man's back. It's not normal, Fena. To it's save other people. You're not saving nobody! Am I not? No. And what of those? What of those people who keep showing up? Only make it with worse. symbols carved into them. Symbols You're that look like the ones he made me worse. carve into. You are them. just making it worse. You're joining him. You've joined him, and you're letting him do this. I you're was You're not in saving control. anything. You were. You said that, right? I had control. Not anymore. Sorry to burst your bubble. I don't know how to stop the wheel. You take me to the fort. I'll get the marshals. I'll get people I trust. And they can take him out. I tried to help you before. Do you know how many times I went to court over him? How many times Too I many. live everything for it to just not do anything? Moody. No. In order to, in order to win against him, you gotta get into his head. And why the hell am I here? Why the fuck am I here, Fena? What is my goddamn part in this? I want nothing to do with this. I want to go home. I just want to go home. Tell me about your home. No. No. I'm not letting anybody go after my family. I don't go after family. My 
I thought I knew you once, but clearly I don't anymore. I'm not telling you about my family. You know my husband, that's all you know. You know my mom, that's all you know, and you don't have to know anything else. My mom was warm-hearted, too. Yeah, it's just her. It's just me and her for a very long time. And Johnny. <laughs> What are you supposed to do when the person who always kept you at your feet on the ground gets buried under it? You cry and you move on. What if you can't stop crying? You go down one fucking dark hole there is no coming back from. You'll be drifting out on open waters, not knowing how to get back. Before you know it, you start sinking like there's chains tucking at your feet, then you start going deeper and deeper and deeper till the air runs out, your lungs fill up, and you never come back up. Hunters, they could go after Lou. We can't kill him. I definitely can't. Can we try again? think I want to be carved in two again he won't do that to you don't let him and you're gonna stop him from doing that mm -hmm. you just said you lost control I would have stopped him before you were kind because I don't just follow people's opinions because they say something I don't believe everybody on their word just because they say something I'm my own person 
I'm not going to follow the morale of 20 others because they say you're bad when I think you were fine. When I considered you to be a friend. I'm my own fucking person, aren't I? I wanted to help you, Finna. I wanted to listen when nobody else did. I got kicked down the stairs, stripped of my rank, treated like shit. And they threw me out like garbage and... I felt like it did the same to you. I wanted to help. And then I got this job. I got something better somewhere I can actually help. And I don't... I don't know if I can help you. I really don't know. I just want to go home. Where did you grow up, Mori? <laughs> oh no. What? Where did you grow up? <laughs> Why does that matter? I grew up on a little farm outside a road. Nothing big. Nothing special. Should be told I think I was one of the ugliest kids around. You know. I don't think I ever had it really easily. Ma was a bitch. <laughs> Real bitch. She uh. We worked at a brothel, so I don't even know my pies. I don't even know my my own goddamn age. I just know that she ruined my fucking life from the day I was put on this fucking world. And I had to endure through it my entire fucking life. Be treated like shit. Treated like nothing. Working around on that fucking ranch. Doing all the goddamn chores for nothing in return. Got to eat the scraps from the pigs. Nothing. I worked my way through that hell hole till the day that bitch died. And then I left. I found myself a new family. Well, the group. I got brothers. I got a sister. I got a ma. I got a whole new family that cared for me, but I had my own issues. And they helped me. I never did anything for them.
<laughs> I don't... I don't talk about my past because I'd rather fucking forget it. I've got nothing left. Not from then, at least. Akata's sister was dead. Together with a boyfriend. Dead, too. I got a brother who never got over it. I have a brother who only had issues and tried to throw himself off rooftops for attention. Fucking moron. I have another brother who couldn't even deal with that anymore and also left. My entire family's gone, not a single person being around, even fucking Jane has abandoned me, and the only person still in state who somewhat reminds me of how things fucking once were, is running around without laws, pretending to be some kind of criminal the fucking bitch she is too. I hate them. I hate them all, and I built something up for myself. I took advantage of it. I directed it. I made something out of it. And I don't intend to let all that fucking pain end up in this. Dying in a fucking cave after eating some of your fucked up meat. Drinking your mushroom. Fuck. Whatever the hell that even was. Whiskey? No, no, no. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not letting it go that far, I'm not. <laughs> People don't know anything about me, and I prefer it that way. I don't need them to know me. Because the only people that have ever known me have left. And I certainly don't need you to know me. A scrawny shithead from the side of sand the knee. I think I have a pretty strong mind. Is 
like a drug. It's a feeling of safety. Feeling of comfort knowing that you finally have a home. Somebody you can talk to, somebody you can be with, somebody you can just let go with for a bit. No fear of the world, just be yourself. Not even once. I mean, I've had to... Uh, I've had... partners. But there's always something wrong with me, you know? So I've never... Like they're all trying to save me for something, but the problem is, is they're trying to save me from myself. You can't save someone from themselves. First partner was an asshole. Selfish piece of shit who gave me all the love and attention I wanted only to rip it away. Lie and betray me. Second partner just used me for his own gains. Made me cut away pieces of myself and left me wandering in the darkness for far too long. And I finally found somebody I can be with and trust. And I'm not letting you take that away from me. I would never take that away from you, Morty. Then just take me home. Just let me go. I only want to go home. Just, uh, if I just worked hard enough, uh, convinced who I needed to convince of whatever I needed to convince them of, then eventually one day someone's gonna come along and save me. So if 
No, well, whatever's out there will send someone who's stronger of mind than I am. It's hard knowing the logic of something, but having the, the heart of it be the opposite of that. I mean, logically, I know that the likelihood of the stuff that he, he believes in. But the likelihood is that it's not real, right? But then it starts to sting me. It starts to speak to me. And I feel the pain. I feel every movement. I... I hear it. The truth is that I'm just not strong enough, Morty. That's why he took the book back. Maybe there is nothing left for me, but there's something left for you. Do you really think you could end it? Of course I do. I wouldn't have become a marsha if I didn't believe in being able to do it. End things. Cut ties no other person could. Make the hard decisions because that's what the job calls for. So many people, they try to do it. They try, but they don't have the heart for it. They lack the experience, they can't cut the knots. I think I can. I know I can. So what are you going to do? Bring us to court? Send us to Sisica indefinitely? Hang us? I don't want you to hang, Fenna. You can plead to a charge that he made you do all of it. It's all been him. You can. You really can. Go to Sissica and I return and I go missing and unspeakable and unspeakable things happen. Not if he's dead. You blame him. You blame him for everything you've done. He gets the noose. Hiring squad, he, he gets it. Or maybe he doesn't even make it over there. Maybe he dies being stupid, shot dead by law. I definitely know what I'd prefer. Brother. 
And maybe you can regain what you've once lost. You're a fucking Lasky after all. Not really. I didn't deal with Benjamin much. Damon, though, considered him a friend. I did to him was wrong. You can't bring them back by going around with Lou. You can't save the world by going around with him, neither. Just leave. She's the one who always taught me how to, uh... Well, the ambiguity... To always believe in your own freedom first. And then to use your own freedom for someone else. You know, I watched her, uh, <laughs> I watched her beat a man up with a pan once. <laughs> uh, people think I'm fiery.
any of it mean or do you think of it as an outsider look in? What does any of what mean? You, your family, your, your, your mom eating somebody with a pan. This? I don't know. What do I call this? What do I call this? Why are you asking me this question? What do I call this? I... Torture. That's what I call this. What does it mean? It means I may never go back home again. It means I may never see my ma. Never see my husband. Never see anybody I cared for ever again. Is that what it means? Does it mean Lou gets some kind of self fulfillment out of it? Some kind of need deep down in his heart to just take people and torture them. Yeah, maybe. I promise you're gonna go home, Woody. Then just let me go. There's no point keeping me here. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm wet. I'm tied up. And I want to go home. I never treated you wrong. I only look after myself. This is just about lying to you or putting a gun in your back. I am sorry, but you would have done the same if you were standing in my shoes. Would you not fight me if I took you away from Lou? Uh, there is no higher power. There's nobody else making your life decisions for you. It is you. As a man who has beaten up a man from God, I can assure you there is no God. Then who talks to me? That's your own mind. It's just the voices in your head. It's not in my head. I can hear him as plain as I hear you. And uh, maybe you're just sick. <laughs> I mean that with the most respect, but maybe you're just sick. Maybe you just need help. Somebody who can actually help you. I tried. I tried, Woody. I reached out to people who said, Mind the doctors. Nobody helped me. I can't change that. I can't change anything about that. And 
neither can Lou. He can't keep you sane. You still hear the voices, right? Has he changed you hearing the voices? Fuck, I used to hear voices in my head every single day telling me to... <laughs> You know? You need help. But you Luke know. can't give you help. But you know. No, what? What it's like. If you want to talk to me about pain, I know pain. If you want to talk to me about hearing voices in your head, yes, I know about hearing voices in my head, and you fight them. You fight them day in, day out. You stay away from stupid things like that meat. You stay away from crazy people. You don't let it get to you. And what do you get by the end of it? Three years of being away from that shit. Three years of being sober. Three years of not touching anything drug related. Pin on the metal. And I'm not letting you ruin them. I'm not letting Lou ruin that. I mean it when I said I'd rather starve and die than eat your jerky or your meat or drink your whiskeys. And if I go, and you have to answer for murder, I hope you look in the fucking mirror and realize that you were just so wrong. Could have stopped all of it, just let me go. supposed to steer you to freedom now. What did you do? To get my freedom? was it? No, it didn't go exactly like that. Our sister had just died. And... 
as I stayed hopeful in my family staying around, which ultimately, looking back at it now, was a fool's errand. He lost hope. I tried to drown my sorrow by taking anything I could possibly find, just not having to worry about it, listening to the voices in my head, staring in the mirror for hours on end, looking at the, oh no, complexion of my own skin, feeling the weird tingling off my fingers on my face. I enjoyed that, and it ate me up. And I went further and further and further till I couldn't even feel the tingling of my own skin anymore and I was gonna go and end up killing myself by just taking everything I could find again and again till my brother broke that. Cause the motherfucker really just put a whole bottle of shit in my hand and told me to do it. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> It's just... In a way, I think he saved me. Another way, he tried to kill me. He did beat my ass right before that. He beat me good. He beat me so fucking hard. He knocked some sense in my head. And I have never done anything with any kind of drug ever again. I don't want anything. I barely take any kind of morphine. I threat or not, and it has kept me sane. It's made all the voices, all the sounds, all the things I once had and felt and needed go away. And it made me better. So how do you help mad, the mad? Why do you keep asking me this? How do you out mad, the mad? You kill it. You grab it. And you repeatedly beat it. You beat it. So there's nothing left. That's how you out mad the mad. You don't let it consume you. You don't let it get anywhere near you. You grab that box. You shove it in there. You kick it a couple times. And you lock that shit up. And you toss it away in the deepest, darkest fucking hole you can find. Throw it in the ocean. Right down the Davy Jones's fucking locker.
Sometimes all I hear is the animals. It's still sad. what you want me to tell you i don't i don't listen to the birds crying i think their song is beautiful i'm i don't i'm, I'm, a, I'm a guy from a ranch in Rhodes. I, I i grew up on the streets after that i i i i i didn't even know how to fucking read and write back then i, I don't know to fight for everything I got, but I don't fucking care about the birds. Why don't we go outside and listen to the birds? Huh? Why don't we do that? We just listen to the birds. some of this because because of my friend because of how much it hurt for me to lose him I wanted to believe that that was the truth but I know well enough he's he's doing it for himself of course he is Nothing but a victim, and a...
Yeah. Yeah, I found it here. But there's also wolves above us. Oh, great. Okay. <gasps> Marshal's office, anyone inside? 